Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make money better than a drug dealer. I'm going to get into all the numbers and stats into the end of the video. Stay tuned. So this is my video on how to help you guys make a couple extra bucks legally and make a huge profit. Some of these profit the profit range is going to be more than selling drugs, literally. It's definitely better than selling stocks, definitely better than selling uh, real estate. The profit margin can be sick. Hope you liked the video. Please give me the thumbs up. This is my way to help you make money and take care of your family. See, I'm helping out your family. My friend today, my mentor, I mean, I've known him for 100 years. He got something for $4 today and he could sell it for 250 bucks. That's an insane profit margin. I'm just beginning. Um, hopefully I'll get to his level. So these are some items that I picked up today. Uh, no, not today. I got this over the course of two days. And uh, I'm going to go over each one. Some of them look like junk. Some people will just walk right past. But when I show you the price I got it for versus the price I'm selling it for, you'll understand. Let's get into it. Total on all these items, I think I spent about... $60, but um, I'll explain. You could go to a local thrift store, you could go to garage sales, you could go to estate sales, you could go to Goodwills. So let me explain my mythology. And I was taught by my best friend who actually quit his full-time career to do this. But his, you should see his collection, it's insane. So let's get into it. This is a great find. I just got this today. Um, video art, the electronic video drawing system. This is from 1987. It's uh, complete in the box. Everything's in there. Now, this is from 1987. Back then, it was a cool thing to have electronic games and toys. The actual toy and the system sucked. It didn't really work well. And, and if you was to use this by today's standards, you would throw it away, which is probably what the people did. They gave it away. So today they had a 50% off at the thrift store I went to on orange tickets. So the original price was $18.99. So I got it for uh, half the price. So I got it for like nine bucks. Somebody just sold this on eBay uh, three days ago for $115. So you see that profit margin? That's better than selling drugs. So let's go over some other stuff that I got. Got this for nine, uh, 99 cents. New in the box. I uh, have it online for like 15 bucks. Not a huge profit margin, but it's still, I mean, it, it's still, no. The numbers don't sound good, but the margin, you know, it all adds up. So basically, I'm going to make, you know, <laughs> 10 bucks off of this, you know. I got a vintage Casio. This was $1.99. Excellent condition. Guys, certain electronics that's old, that they don't really use anymore, people collect. So if you find something in good condition, usually the people that put these items out on a shelf, they don't realize what it is, so they underprice it. I got this for $1.99. Um, I have it online for, I can't remember, but maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. So that's a nice, you know, from $2 to make 40 bucks on it, that's something. This was a good... Oh, and this is from old. This is from like the 1990 or something. What, what is this? Uh, 
anyways, from this is from I believe the nineties. This used to be an iPod, guys. No, no, an iPod took over this. <laughs> this is a cassette Walkman. Okay, you played video cassettes. Do you guys even know what that is? This is an oldie but goodie. It's classic. It's still in mint condition. I got this for two dollars. This I'm selling for a quick fifty bucks. Yes. This is really old. And you put your cassette so and it still works. Everything works great. So this is the classic. These are classic stuff, guys. People don't know what they are. They put it on a shelf for two dollars. Meanwhile, you know, you could sell it online for a quick fifty bucks. That's from two dollars to fifty bucks, that's better than selling, you know, <laughs> weed. Literally, right? Because you can't buy something for two dollars and sell it for fifty bucks in, in the in that world. Or even stocks and bonds. I mean, you could do penny stocks and maybe you'll get lucky, but, you know, this is a guarantee and it's quick and easy and blah, blah, blah. I sell everything on eBay, guys, and I'll show you my listings after later on in the video. This I got also for two ninety nine. This is like a step up from this. <laughs> so I went from cassette tape to CD. So this is a, a CD Walkman. Um... I don't even have the uh, the wires or anything to it. People will buy it just like this. Paid a dollar ninety nine for this. This I could probably get it for twenty five bucks, give or take. If I had this in the box or brand new in the box, this is like a nineteen ninety. What is this? This is two thousand September two thousand. Oh, this I'm not gonna take off. This this is this is older. This is like in nineteen like nineteen ninety. So. 1990s, 2000. This goes for like 25 bucks. If I had this in the case still, um, it could go up to like 50, 60 bucks. If it was still in the case, like almost brand new, I could get $100 for this. $19.99 easily. Like $99.99, I'm sorry. But I don't have the case, I don't have the headset, so I saw it for a quick, maybe a quick $20. But like I said, I bought it for $2. See that markup? So. 20 bucks, I could get this for 50 bucks. I'll say a quick $40. So, already that's uh, 60 bucks. 99 cents for this. I can sell this for a quick $10. I know that's not, those numbers don't sound interesting, but it all adds up in the end. I got a whole bag of these. This is brand new. This is a whole bag. For three ninety nine, this is probably too much. My friend would probably not pay no more than probably two dollars for this whole bag. But if I combine these two things together, I could probably get forty dollars out of this. Maybe a quick thirty five bucks. So this was uh four dollars. This is ninety nine cents. So five dollars. I'll turn that into probably a quick forty bucks. You know, not too bad. This, this I got, this was, um, I think this was a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. I'm sorry, I took off the price already. Um, this, 50 bucks. I saw this already. Anything Lego that's a character, get. If it's, but the only thing that sucks is you got to count it. Because if it's, it says 205 pieces, if it's not complete, when you sell it, the person's going to be pissed off. So you got to make sure it's complete. So... This was like, I think, $2.99. To make a quick sale, I'd probably sell it for $40. But somebody sold it recently for $47.50. So that's a nice come up. This is just random Lego stuff that was with that. So this is like a freebie. This is just regular parts, dude, guys. Like, this is not even a full thing, but it's parts of this airplane. What I was looking on, people buy each an individual part. If they see, if somebody say buys that and is missing pieces, they look for the pieces to complete it. So even though this this is a freebie because it came with that, and that alone is gonna you know pay for itself. I might just throw this on for like, I could probably get twenty bucks for this, believe it or not. I might just throw it on for ten dollars since it was a freebie. 
and just get rid of it quick. I might even be able to get more for it. Seven. So when I look at this, this is complete. 1987, dudes. Anything electronic, plus it's in the box, it is in mint condition. The person who bought this, I don't even think they used it. Everything is pristine. It even has the paperwork. This was a good find. This find alone is better than selling drugs. Because I paid $9 for it. One sold on eBay for 150 bucks, And another one sold for $99 plus $15 shipping. So I paid $9 for it. So I might list it for maybe 120 bucks, so I could sell it like that. So from $9 and get 120 bucks for it, you know, I'm getting over $100 profit. You know, um, that markup is insane. I'll, I'll do the math in a second, but it's better than real estate investing. It's better than stocks and bonds because average stocks and bonds maybe is like 12%, maybe 20% if you're lucky. Average real estate return on investment profit is about 9%, give or take. Drug dealing is, is maybe like 20%. Could, could go up to 40 depending on what you're selling and who you're selling it to and how much you're getting it for. So, yeah, this come up is good. This is an excellent find. So I'll make 100 bucks on that easy. This gumball machine, how much did I get this for? This one was, I think this was $9.99. Um... I have it listed right now for about 80 bucks. So from $10 to 80 bucks, that's a nice come up too. And it's complete. Everything is it's never even used. So sometimes people get stuff as a gift and they never use it and then they donate it to thrift stores and people and the thrift store people they don't know how to price it. So they underprice it and somebody like me or you in the future could go and get it and make a nice come up or a profit. Check this out. You guys heard of Sega, right? Game Gear paid two dollars for this. One dollar and ninety nine cents. Doesn't it didn't come with any plugs or anything like that? But um, I found the plug there and I plugged it in, um, and it works perfect. It even has a game. Two dollars I got this for. I could sell this easily for 50 bucks. That'd be a quick $50. I just got to clean it up. You know, that's the thing. You got to remove the markings. This is the price for, the, you know, make it look nicer. Get some Vaseline and make it look all nice and shiny and new. So so the picture looks amazing. <laughs> so the picture looks amazing when you're selling it. And people are like, oh, wow, it looks great for the year. But this is an old one also. Two dollars. What was the person thinking? Putting for two dollars. I'm about to sell this thing for fifty bucks. So what is that? That's a nice profit, right? From two dollars, and you sell it for fifty bucks. So that's forty-eight dollars profit. I mean, you know, minus shipping and eBay's fee of ten percent. But like, say I walk away at forty bucks. So I bought it for two dollars, and I make you know forty bucks off of it. That's awesome. Next, this is a. A back massager. I think I paid five dollars for this or three ninety nine, something like that. Everything works. I plugged it in at the place. It's in good condition except for this little mark. I'm not sure if that's a I tried to erase it, but it's not I tried to erase it, but it, I don't know. I might have to put something else on it to get rid of it, that mark. But it's pretty good condition for what it is. Uh this baby goes for about forty dollars, so I got it for four. I'm selling for forty. Last but not least, this is probably the most expensive item I bought. According to my mentor, he would never have gotten this because it's over a certain price. He doesn't get anything over nineteen dollars, and it, and the things he buys for nineteen dollars sell for like two hundred bucks. This guy is insane. And he always finds it. He found actually a deal today. Well, let me just tell you about this. So yeah, this is 24 bucks. I don't even know if this is even used, honestly. Okay, so it's probably used like 
a few times. But once I clean this thing up, once I clean it up, look, I still got all the stuff and paperwork and extra beans in there and everything works great. So I can sell that for like 80 bucks. So from 25 to 80, only thing that what sucks about big items, and this is my tip to you guys, which I didn't follow for either one of these. My buddy's rule is he gets small stuff. Small stuff for cheap, and he sells it for way more, and the shipping is nothing. See, like shipping for this thing is going to be like 20 bucks. So it's like I spent 40 bucks on this, but if I sell it for 80 bucks, I still make my $40. You know, so to add everything up, the profit, I'm going to make, you know, I make a $200 profit out of all this stuff. It took me about 30 minutes to an hour to find everything. Um, I spent maybe like 60 bucks and I'm going to make 200. Yeah, I'm going to make like 200 profit off of it. So... Invest 60, you flip it to 200. Not too bad. Actually, no, I'm going to make more than 200, right? Yeah, I'm not calculating it right. I'm going to make over 200 bucks because I'm going to make $100 on that, $40 on that, 40 20 30 40 50 60 60 Oh, that one over there, yeah. That's going to, let's just call that 30 Oh, okay, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, oh, I can't forget this baby. The electronic roller decks. You believe it? <laughs> we have no need for this because our smartphones hold all this information, but this is all vintage stuff, guys. And it's in mint condition. This is probably from the 90s, also. So people buy this stuff. I forgot how much I got this for, but after I sell everything, I'm going to do an update video to show you that I did sell this stuff and at what price just to show you, you know, how easy it is to make and you know, a quick extra 200 bucks. This is side money guys. You know, this is stuff that you could, you know, buy toys with and, <laughs> you know, support your hobbies. Maybe with my tutelage, you guys could find those insane deals too. And when you do, think about me. And when you do get those deals and you sell it, come back to my page and give me a tip. At least give me an upvote. I'm, I'm, help, I'm putting money in your pocket so you can help out your family or yourself. And, you know, who else is that? How many of your friends give you money or help you make money? You know what? How many of your family members put money in your pocket and I'm doing it for free I think that it deserves some recognition help me get to the featured page is that too much to ask anyway thanks for watching until next time peace